I'm a little nervous about people um, kind of hearing that I'm this way and then thinking, uh, sh you know, she's not welcome here. <laughs> I would say I am different. <laughs> We're all different. Most people think that I'm already weird anyway, so... I mean, I don't think society's impression of me is going to change that drastically based on one or two discoveries that might come out in this film. So. Pretty scary, you know? You wonder how many people can I really, truly, honestly be open with? I've tried to change this before, but it's too important to me. I actually think the economy of the South is dependent on slave labor. I believe women have no business voting. I believe that marriage should remain racially pure. I believe Irish immigrants will destroy this nation. I believe that Negroes should stay away from my lunch counter. I already have an idea of what marriage should be, and that will never change. One man, one woman. And his dead brother's wife. And several concubines. At the end of the day, I think we don't need to feel ashamed about the way we feel about things. So just be you. And marry someone from your own race. The way God intended. No one should be looked down upon. No one should be suppressed. No one's views should be suppressed. I paid 50 shekels to Jacob for violating his daughter against her will. And I married her. Because I am honorable. I know a lot of people who are Negroes. I have friends who are Negroes. I don't fear them. I think they are wonderful people. I love them. What I do feel insecure about is speaking from my heart and being really and open and honest about what I believe. And that's, I believe everyone gets along so much better when you know where to sit on the bus and what door to access for the balcony at the cinema. And for them to use their own drinking fountain so I don't catch their Negro diseases. <laughs> and I stoned a fortune teller to death just last week. I did not hate her. It's the law. I mean, I love my friends. None of them are Irish, of course. You may ask, how could it not be the case that the ever-loving creator who gave us everything we have doesn't love us? And yet... He loves us more than he loves those filthy, drunken mix. That's just one of life's great mysteries. Or my neighbor, Ezekiel, next door. He had a fling with a babysitter. I had to stone him, too. Where can you say, no, I'm not going to be part of this? Women are weak-minded and can't be trusted to elect our leaders, but still respect someone. Trim your beard, that's a stoning. Eat shrimp, that's a stoning. Bigoted is such a huge word that gets thrown around. It's just not true. You cannot have a society of hatred or a society of bigotry. I'm not a bigot just because I believe you're unworthy of basic human rights. I'm just a little bit better than you. Your life is just a little bit less important. I own you. Because God said so. I happen to uh, know what marriage is. And... I don't see how it could change. The best way to break down all the barriers, sorry, <laughs> is just to get to know people one-on-one -on -one and let them make decisions about your life. And I believe history will prove me right. History. 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 History will prove. History will prove me right. Uh-huh.